Okay, hey <laughs> everybody. This is a cocooning out here, out here in Mesa, here at my house. Yeah, sandals on. It's February. You know, we live in Arizona. <laughs> Little town for the cold weather people. Little town. Oh, this is my yeah. This is part of my. I actually live in a cul-de-sac here. Part of a cul-de-sac. See, part of a cul-de-sac. And uh, this is a really nice, nice area. This is, this is not your regular trailer park. This is a trailer park where uh, people with money come here, snowbirds, to get out, to get out, to get out of the cold weather so they can wear sandals. Yes, wear sandals in February. Oh, this is this bike guy. Yeah, this is that bike I uh, did restore on. Uh, probably ended up coming down here with one of the snowbirds. And evidently they bought another one or whatever, I don't know. Maybe they don't come down anymore. Maybe they're getting uh, to the age where they can't make it down. I don't know, whatever. I was, I was sitting at uh, the dumpster and my dad pulled it out and said, Hey, Russ, you want to fix this up? I haven't fixed up an old bike since I was a kid. My first bicycle when I was like nine years old, eight or nine, was a 26 inch, you know, rust bucket, everything else. You know, I got a dollar a week allowance and uh, you know, that's, what, that's the way it was when I was growing up. You know, my parents said, well, this is your bike. It had no tires on it, nothing, you know. You can save your allowance and fix it up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's, I didn't clean all the, the rims up super duper good because I didn't uh, have any uh, good quality brand uh, rust remover for chrome. I will eventually, but for the most part, uh, getting it put back together and getting it working, I put a new uh, this uh, put a new uh, brake cable on the back. You know, cleaned up oh, the. Uh, oh, you know, you, did you see my other video? The, the stuff like this was around in here was rusted, and you know what? And just this kind of stuff. I I worked pretty good on cleaning up a lot of it, and and all of this, and you know this. The whole chain was just a disaster. In fact, uh, let's see. I don't remember if this is the original chain or not. I put a. I don't know, I think I got another chain put on it because the other one I just couldn't free it up. It had a couple links here that was just solid, just rusted solid. But uh, I didn't put, put new tires on it, that was it. These pedals, these are not the original pedals. If anybody knows what the original pedals are, let me know. But this is the original seat, I'm sure. And that's not the original kickstand. This is probably what, about a 70s? I don't know. 1970s. See what does it say here on the side? Let's see the original paint job. Super cycle. Commuter. Right? Uh, super cycle on the front. I think it was down in here it says. Something about, I can't read it from here. Yeah, Canada. And like I said, uh, the bearings I pulled out was stamped made in the USA. <laughs> yeah, I'll let put I'll put all that stuff back. Took this up. I got one of these uh, one of these caps are missing. So anyway, and I couldn't believe it. It's you know still a little bit rusty up here, but uh, it shifts just as good as uh, the ones I remember riding when I was a kid after cleaning it all up. So even though, it was, I mean, you couldn't even turn the wheels. You couldn't even hardly force them, ah, force, grab it. It was just, they were so rusted up. And of course the crank too, it was a disaster. It's sweet now, sweet, sweet. So there you go. And I really like my place guys. Oh, got the birds back here. I don't know, let me see if I can find them real quick. Do an update. I'll do an update for you if you guys are watching my videos. The hummingbirds. Any of you seen them? 
and back here. They're back here, the hummingbirds are back here. A couple babies, little babies, they are babies. There's the nest. Let me get my, raise my step up here so I can adjust it and set it down. Uh, Right in there, somewhere. There it is, see yeah. it? Come into focus. I know that's the nest. Where's the mama at? Is that a is that one of the little chicks hanging its head? I can't hardly tell. They're on the left side of the nest. I'm pretty sure that's one of the little tiny babies hanging its little neck and head over the top head, see? Right there. Yeah, I think so. Yep. I think there are two of them in there. You're like peeking your head out the top, right? Let me see how I get up here a little closer if I can. I get too close, mama will come buzz me. Where's she at? Well, maybe that ain't your head. I don't know. I can't tell. My eyes just ain't good anymore. This camera's going in and out of blur. I got a 21 zoom. I'm standing 10 feet away. About 10 or 12, whatever. Oh, there's her mama. She back. Where was you at, Mama? Hang on, it's out of focus. There you go. She said, what the hell are you doing here? Are you trying to disturb my children? She said, I'll keep an eye on you. Okay, so anyway. There you go, update. That's an update on the bird nest. Hummingbird nest. So yeah, right behind my place here, this is like a golf course. Our golf course. <laughs> it's a, uh, they sell golf carts. That's Main Street over there. I love this because I got this covered parking area. I couldn't get an apartment for what I, and have the space that I have here. And I wouldn't have been able to buy a house with all the amenities I have. The pool, the events that go on here is just uh, wonderful. Yeah, there's something going on two or three times a day when the snowbirds are here. But anyway, I'll walk you up here. This is my, my other covered patty. This is gonna be nice too, because this is the morning morning right now and uh, you know we get the morning sun over here but this could be perfect in the evening sun comes up somewhere like right over and I'm gonna do probably I gotta clean the outside this place needs I've been working on it got it for a song 1500 bucks how can you beat that this is my next project this thing is crying it's crying, it's crying, it's crying, it's crying, it's crying. Man, and of course the fork is like, see that simple break, yeah. Damaged right here, it, <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna work, is it, until I straighten the fork out. But somebody tried to touch the paint up. It says, uh, what is that? Japan or something, yeah, made in. 
Japan. Whoop, there you go. Made in Japan. This is probably an old 70s bike too, I would imagine. See the I like it because the center pull brakes. My first uh, expensive bicycle I bought, I was 15 years old, I was working at the Royals Baseball Stadium, 1973. We got $7 a game to work, $7 to work the game. That's how they paid you. It didn't matter if the game went quick or if it went long. Double headers were twelve fifty, twelve dollars and fifty cents to work double headers. First year, 1973 was the first year for uh, Kansas City Stadium Complex. It's a football, baseball stadium complex on the same property. Very nice. It's still a beautiful place today, you know. All these years later, it's been well taken care of. Anyway, but, so, yeah. It had the, uh, this type of, you know, soldered, soldered together pieces, uh, center pull brakes, uh, it was, uh, I think it was a 27 inch, uh, men, I bought it at Coast to Coast, which was a, uh, like an Ace Hardware, you know, Coast to Coast, uh, was a popular hardware, uh, at least around the Midwest, I don't know how many there were. I don't think they're in business anymore. There was only probably a few in the Independence area. I don't know if there was any in other parts of I remember two, two of them in Independence. I don't know if they were in any other part of the state, whatever. I mean, you know, it might've just been a small chain, four, five or six or whatever, who knows, anyway. It was called Coast to Coast Hardware. And that's what was on the front. It said Coast to Coast. You know, and the bike frame was, you know, probably about like this. I was, but I don't, been a long time. I don't remember it had the three piece. But I remember, I do remember, it was about $101. It was the most expensive bike in the store. 10 speed. You know, they were just starting to do 10 speeds back then, you know, because 5 speeds was a thing, and 10 speeds were weren't necessarily uh, being sold for uh, the average uh, customer or whatever, consumer. 10 speeds were used in races and yada, yada, whatever, back in the 70s, you know. So when 10 speeds started coming out to the general public and the English racer bicycles, at least in the area where I was at, you know, in 1973, like I say, I, I bought one, had to have one. Oh, man, it was cool. So anyway. I'm gonna fix this one up. Maybe I'll find one like one I used to have. It was all white. That's right. It was all white. It was beautiful. But anyway, anyway, there you go. So this is this is this is my place. I'll give you guys a little peek inside if you want. Got some of my other bikes here. I keep them inside so they don't rust. This this is my Christmas tree. Let me turn it on. I keep my <laughs> I keep my tools in here. It's my Christmas tree. I call it my Christmas tree because it got lights on <laughs> inside it. Ah, uh, that's it, guys. If everything works out, this is my little lot over here to side. I clean the shit out. This was a disaster, major disaster. I still got things I need to do in there. There's my trailer from my gypsy wagon. How long I got that? Hopefully, I'll work on this. Uh, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with this shit. I want a workshop. Workshop's gonna go on the other side. I want more space than this. I don't have to build me a workshop. But I, all this over here, we get quail playing around out here. And I got space around behind. I have some stuff stored. I'm gonna. 
this is going to be um, I'm gonna cut all these older oleanders down might leave one down there I'm not gonna do it right away anyway with the uh, hummingbird just so it can come back maybe or whatever I don't know I'm gonna leave one or whatever but uh, you know and I'm gonna put a wall put a wall in here maybe and this will kind of be a just a little clean it all up and it'll be a little sitting area back here probably and I'm going to leave all these, of course, because I want more light coming in my room, this back part of the house where my room's at. See, and all this, all this rock over here goes over to about for a trailer park lot. See, I got all this, all of this, right about right along in here somewhere. Going out to the street. Oh, I set me up a fire pit. Well, I don't know. I got a lot of things I want to do. Make this an outside area to hang out. Uh, lemon tree. This tree is uh, coming up from the root. There's the... I got to get it cleaned up. Take, cut this big old stub out. And then see what I can do to get in there and kind of get it to grow better. Looking pretty gnarly. And of course a Palo Verde or yeah, Palo Verde over there. We got it, we got it, we got it. See if I can catch him. I don't know if I'm catching him or not. We get a lot of airplanes over here. Anyway, there you go. I'm back back out. I can't tell. It's hard to see this screen out in the sunlight. You just kind of got to guess sometimes at what you're doing when you're pointing it up in the air like that or in certain areas where the sun's hitting the screen so so hey guys hey yeah, check out my place oh uh, what we got over here in the sky oh, that sky is getting nasty today maybe yeah who knows thinking about it, we're going up to uh, uh fountain hills might make a video up there about uh, an art fair going on so so hey 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 everybody remember you gotta have a good day!